Phew. Well, hello everyone. Um, it has been a while since I last did this, and I had, um, shall we say, a bit of a scare. Uh, considering uh, how the uh, PlayStation 2 is supposed to have a uh, laser that can uh, sometimes just um, break. Um, my official disc 2 would not read all of a sudden. And um, I will not elaborate. <laughs> um, long story short, I, I could at least read the official, official disc in my PCs. It's just... It just um, the PS2 will boot the disc. Mm. There is a solution in place, but oof, yeah, um, <laughs> I'm going to see if I can uh, get a disc replacement through Sony. Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe they're kind this time of year. Who knows? Um, uh, yeah, but. Uh, besides that, today we are going to cheat, <laughs> frankly. Um, uh, I have a uh, cheat device for the uh, PlayStation 2, which well, I have actually been out looking for um, <laughs> new um, products, or well, <sighs> copies of it. Or physical devices like this that you can actually buy and I came up dry. <laughs> so um, maybe, who knows, this may be the last time in history <laughs> that someone actually uses this. <laughs> oh, I'm, I, I'm grieving, honestly. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can see that I have uh, already uh, sold a few things here. This is for Matthew's debt, the AGS campaign related to that. Um, but here's the thing. I have a code that should give me... Wait for it. Wait for it. 99... You can see... To... It's for step... I suppose I could sell a few class upgrade bees, they don't really do all the grand scheme things. Oh, hello. Didn't I say one of you? That awakening to what else do you give? Oh. Okay, I, I I will have to go and see if I actually used it or not. I think I think I got two, but I really have to check this. Oh, Good job I didn't sell it. I seriously didn't have it. I... Well... It's a very good thing I didn't sell it. So, um, uh, <laughs> how have you guys been? Um, yeah, this is gonna take some time. I really don't know what to talk about in the meantime. Mm, well, I could tell you that I have been sort of binge playing uh, shit. <coughs> Ooh. And I'm as well there, sorry. Um, I have been pinch playing uh, Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD Remaster on the uh, PlayStation 4 Pro because my PS4 normal is um, hooked up to my game capture device too. Well, because of my daughter Mono. Um, I've been playing some uh, 
20 hours or something already. And um, I am now past the points where I have rage quit before, so, well, I'm playing on the uh, new <laughs> Merciful difficulty. It is indeed very easy, maybe even too easy, honestly. I mean, up until, I think, uh, you find bosses with physical immunity, you can just straight up uh, set your uh, moves to auto and uh, just uh, sip tea while the uh, demi fiend and his um, friends just punch everything into oblivion. It's crazy. But man, that game is just its own kind of beautiful. I mean, yes. It doesn't have a whole. It, it doesn't show off show off show off a whole bunch of um, polygon budget, so, so to speak. It's not the uh, polygon pusher that this game is. But uh, if you compare, say, well, uh, if you make this comparison, right? Like in uh, Final Fantasy X, say, or twelve. I suppose twelve is more apt. Uh, comparison, honestly. Uh, compare Final Fantasy XII to Mahler's Symphonies. Uh, and compare... Oh, and then like in Shin Megami Tensei III Nocturne. Jeez, that's a fucking long title. To Bruckner. Uh, just compare how... I mean, uh, both Mahler and Bruckner wrote stupidly long symphonies. I mean, not that I complain, but... Man, they're long. Uh, and that's honestly probably the reason I uh, first started paying attention to the mass composers. Uh, but where Mahler symphonies are just lush and just um, just richly textured, and uh, he works a whole lot with the soundscape. Uh, Bruckner symphonies are simpler. And I don't mean that the instrumentation is typically smaller, uh, although they are. I think Mahler had a, a typically twice the amount of percussionists on stage at any one time. Um, but, it, but musically, I find that the uh, melodies and uh, how Bruckner treats them is also simpler uh, than... Uh, than you would see in a Mahler symphony. Um, that, I think, um, describes um, the um, visuals in Shin Megami Tensei III um, quite well. Uh, they, they don't look fancy, but man, do they deliver exactly what, I mean, just do they deliver I impressions are just... I I don't even want to know. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I rambled. Uh, I I mishandled the English language there. I'm sorry. I'm foreign, so... Uh, yeah. I mean, English is not my, my native language. I think you may have discovered that already. But, I mean, seriously. You can just take screenshots of any any dungeon, any room, any important scene in Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne and uh, print it and hang it up at uh, an art museum and uh, no one will think you're... Uh, I mean, no one will just react to it being strange except being, uh, you know, produced uh, by uh, video game hardware. The images are that distinct, that just um, yeah. Your daily reminder to just fucking play Nocturne. <laughs> um, while I uh, try to oh controller dark cooperating. 
Uh, yeah. Daily reminder to play Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne. Either version, either the original PS2 disc, the uh, digital re release on the PS3 that you can get through PSN while they still have it open, or the HD remaster. For the added difficulty setting, I would recommend the HD remaster to a new player, but uh, for various reasons, I think uh, old players who, uh, well, who own the game since um, earlier times or can buy the other versions uh, are probably getting a better deal by doing so. So, um, does anyone uh, start to understand more fully why I have opinions that are not very flattering about the background music playing here on at least second mail ship by now? <laughs> it's, uh, it's partly because of this. We spend just stupid amounts of time here. Just Going through the menu, watching the ticker tick down. <sighs> you know, I bet I, I bet I went and did a boo boo there. I'm pretty sure I had. I'm pretty sure I stole two awakening two manuals from Wogula and I'd already used one. So if I had sold the one I used again, I would be out of here sooner. And I find it um, slightly frustrating that the uh, cheat device doesn't uh, refill the uh, item stock while in this menu but well at least it works it gets the job done mm -hmm. speaking of which there is actually a code for um, I mean to just say we have paid off the debt uh, that I actually have on the device I just um, I don't know why I didn't, why I haven't ever used it. Um, also, I think I have announced before that I'm not going to uh, play through Xeno uh, Saga 3 again. Well, not on the uh, channel. I, I, I mean, I will still just play it after I'm done with this game, or just... Um, basically, I just like the game. So I'm going to play it again, I just uh, don't see any point in doing another Let's Play of that game. I think the one I have is complete enough, and all I really wanted to do was uh, show off the uh, Pound HD link cable, and um, well, I have done so, and I am reasonably sure I have given my uh, basically final opinion on it in a previous video. So. Um, yeah, I will repeat uh, some of my thoughts during the uh, end credits. Um, so, is this, is this as tedious for you as it is for me? Uh, good news though. Um, we only need to do this two more times. We want to sell items. We want to sell skill up release. I am so very entertained. I hope you are so very entertained as well, fellow people of culture. Um, anything else to talk about? Well, um... I just started playing uh, Fire Emblem Fates on the 3DS again, um, 3DS XL, 
technically. Um, and I guess I'm having fun. I'm just going to attach a cable here. There, cable properly attached. Everybody's happy. Um, well, yeah, I do have some other Fire Emblem games on my Wii U that uh, I'm actually uh, technically playing, just um, on a kind of hiatus. Mm, I actually want to go through uh, Breath of the Wild again. I uh, got a copy for the Wii U on that game. Uh, yeah, sure, the performance isn't great on the Wii U, but... Eh. <laughs> I didn't have a, wi have a Switch at the time. And I could get the game used. Oh, I... Why would I sell a made kit, I wonder? The that doesn't do any good. <sighs> okay. Um, now... There we go. Awesome sauce. We are already done with this. Um, <laughs> hmm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um. I'm. I'm just uh, wondering. Um. Uh, considering what to. To about um, uh, any excess skill upgrade ease we get after this point. I mean, I will have 99 skill upgrade ease at any time. Um, as long as I, well, have the cheat code activated, start the game with the cheat device, which I'm all going to do at this one time. Um, but we are going to get a lovely amount of skill upgrade ease here. Um, so I think I will be using a few of them, and then use a few off camera when I have the cheat deactivated, um, just to sort of well, give me a buffer, if you will, and then just. Um, Use the rest of them uh, during the uh, post game. So I don't. Well. Uh, come out too too much ahead with this cheat. For the uh, 5,000 pop skill points we get for these. That is nice. Ether Burst level 3 class G. And the X Buster. Hell to the yes. And there we get Jin Sum Su. Why not? Oh. Hoo -hoo. Okay, uh, yeah, the walk uh, walkthrough author uh, points out that. Uh, Giving Momo the Aether Burst uh, skill will be um, uh, all new levels of Carnage. Let's um, let's just try that, shall we? Uh, Momo, do you have level three? Do you have class G? No, but we can make that happen. Okay, skill upgrade E, let's use 40 of these. Oh, it's only 500. Yeah. Still good. Let's see, divide uh, 40 by 7, that's um, uh, 6, except 2 get 5. Okay. You guys on the top get 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 And you guys only get five. Or something. Okay, Momo. Doubles Ether attack damage, but also doubles EP consumption. Hmm. Eh. You win some, you lose some. Okay, we still haven't unlocked that. So can we do anything here? We can give you Miracle Star or Ether Spear. <laughs> okay, um, okay, okay. Um, just... Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. We have Ether Spear. We can have Ether Burst. Uh, and um, Element Attribute Chains. And what say we land that on an Ether Boost event slot? Oh, we are... Ah, uh, well, something's getting knocked into orbit here. <laughs> and I'm afraid it's gonna be me. Okay, uh, we're gonna need those eventually. Um, hmm. uh, sure, let's teach you that. And the swords. Yeah, we want those for you, but let's go for these instead. So we can um, unlock level 4. What to do on level 4 when you're dead? Har har. Um, I think this is a slightly critical skill when we get to the post game. Oh wait, no, it's this one. And what they mean by clear status effects, by the way, is buffs. Don't question it. Mm hmm. Okay, and um, Junior. You don't need the Ether Burst um, thing. We know that for a fact. Mm hmm. Misty's kind of your shtick, though. Guard wouldn't suck. Um, ah, let's unlock this. Someone needs to have a fresh age at some point. I've already unlocked that. Good. Yeah. I mean, we have the uh, class points, right? Oh, you don't have this yet? Okay, wow, <laughs> what have I been doing? Um, Okay, you have a fresh age. Uh, this is not a big concern at this point, but I'll unlock it all the same. Xion would benefit from uh, getting the Aether Burst. Um, it's more situational with her, I think. 
Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of those look useful. Uh, crossbows. What do we do with you? Oh, yeah, I've been waiting to unlock some of these. Definitely needed. Okay, someone has veils. That's um, not awful. Uh, a good idea to get these. I hope. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna need those. <laughs> Could enough of those. Yeah, oh well. I did not. Oh, that's uh, not enough for that. Okay. Sure, uh, try not to use them, Dosigi. Seriously. Ah, revenge power. Yep, Siggy is now officially thick skinned. Also swole. Yeah, someone needs to have those. Can't unlock that. <clears throat> Annoying. But there's the expansion pack, we're good with that. Uh huh. And ether burst. Yes. Oh, uh, we can... <laughs> oh man, this is going to be just sick. <laughs> All the sickness. All at once. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Might as well do some thematic shenanigans with this. Um, well, she doesn't miss a whole lot, so we'll leave the uh, dexterity off. Uh, Cosmos. Yeah, we can get the swimsuit for skill points. Uh, Oh, wow, look at the time. Uh, well. Well. Um, yeah. Um, stay tuned, I guess we have a more GS campaigning to do. All this lappy hammer coat on Ziggy here, and... Uh, that probably something. See you back for some more GS campaigning.